Lemon Techno. Hello and welcome to this week's Top Hacker News articles. In this week's Top 3, we have an open source internet operating system called Pewter, the fourth edition of the eloquent JavaScript book, and the background and clarification of the extent of Elon Musk's involvement in OpenAI. Let's dive in. The first page is a show HN titled Three Years and One Million Users Later, I Just Open Sourced My Internet Operating System by Nariman Yelveh. It is a link to a GitHub repository which also has a demo app on Pewter.com. Going back through the Hacker News history of the poster, I can see they have actively been posting links to the demo for ages. There has clearly been a lot of effort and attention to detail put into this project. Pewter is an open source operating system that runs in the browser. You can create an account and keep your sessions and files alive that way, kind of like a virtual desktop and cloud file system. I had a blast testing out the different features and apps that come out of the box. The only thing I found missing was a browser, but apparently you can even run Pewter inside Pewter, so I don't see why a full browser emulation wouldn't be possible, or something akin to an iframe used in some proxy websites, or maybe even something in WebAssembly or something like that, right? When I read it was developed using jQuery, I literally let out an audible gasp. I could just imagine hordes of React and Angular fans going, that's not a framework, yet the fact that it works so beautifully well leads me to believe the code must be quite well structured. I still have to go through the repo to have a better understanding, however. Oh, and one of the apps is this fully fledged photo editor. Amazing, right? The top comment mentions Half-Life or a clone of it was released as a Pewter app. I think it's really cool that you can develop and publish your own apps for Pewter. I'm going to give this page a score of 10 as I love the craftsmanship and hard work that went into this, apart from the fact that it is open source and you can host it yourself. The second article is titled Eloquent JavaScript 4th Edition, written by Marein Haverbecke and posted by by Dagabor. It's not really an article, but more like the full book published and available on the internet. You can purchase a physical copy as well, but for the purpose of quick references and diving into specific topics, this book and website allows you to easily dig into specific JavaScript concepts, patterns, and interacting with the DOM, for example. The top comment is from Sam, though, and they mentioned that this, in their opinion, is THE book to use to learn JavaScript at more than a surface level. I can only agree with this sentiment as it looks broad enough in scope and gives you a good push in to this world which you can furthermore augment afterwards with in-depth training in things like Rx, frameworks, handling state, etc. Who knows, maybe some jQuery 4 along the way, wink wink. I'm going to give this website a 9 as I think it is an amazing resource and it's available for free but I deducted a point as I think its coverage of Node and server-side JavaScript towards the end was more of an afterthought and a bit more explanation as well as yeah, explanation about server-side rendering, client versus server-side JavaScript. JavaScript and Node.js frameworks might have helped explain a bit better the ecosystem and state of things. The third blog post is titled OpenAI and Elon Musk by several authors, primarily from the OpenAI team. It describes OpenAI's team, mentions Elon Musk's initial involvement where he told the team in 2015 that much more than the initial 100 million the team was planning to raise would be needed, at least 1 billion. Further below, it mentions that the next step in 2017 was to create a for-profit entity where Elon wanted majority equity and to be CEO. In 2018, he left OpenAI stating there was zero chance of success, yet was supportive of them finding their path to raise the amount needed for training huge models in the future. Further below, a few email exchanges were shared related to the same topics. Reaching the most important port towards the end were Ilya Sutskever mentions that as they get closer to building AI, it will make sense to start being less open, and that the open in OpenAI means that every Everyone should benefit from the fruits of AI after it's built. Elon's reply was just, yep. I guess this post can be a reply to a point that keeps coming up after every major LLM release on sites like Hacker News and Reddit where the main thing on people's minds is, I thought it was supposed to be open, why not call it closed AI, where are the research papers, where is the science, and so on and so forth. The top comment by TCGV mentions, it is just a lame PR stunt which will only add fuel to the fire, and follows up with a few arguments and justifications, the ensuing comment thread was a 
lot of back and forth and a few negative exchanges. I'm giving this article a 6 because in all honesty, it doesn't change anything in my opinion while just leading to fruitless exchanges. And that's going to wrap it up for this week's Top Hacker News. Please leave a comment below if you'd like to discuss any of the articles further. You can check out the links to the Hacker News discussion in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date. See you next week.